Hello, thank you for joining us today. To kick it off, can you start by introducing yourself and telling us your role at Atlassian? Sure, I'm Otto Rittinger and I'm the head of product for Jira Scale and Performance. I've been in product roles for close to 20 years and I've been with Atlassian for over six years. Most of that is head of product. Um, some of my enterprise customers out there might remember me from being uh, the first uh, product manager that was responsible for Data Center, which obviously is a, a very large successful product used by a lot of customers now. Uh, but since then I've had many different roles. All of them had one common thread though, and that was working on performance, and that's something I really enjoy. Um, and since then my remit has gotten broader and I've become responsible for performance and scale of multiple Atlassian products. And currently, uh, that includes the largest ever mission and investment for Atlassian to make cloud products both reliable and performant at scale. Uh, and, and I've just, you know, most PMs will probably say, hey, that's, that doesn't sound too exciting. I love that. That's, that's the thing that gets me excited and gets me out of bed in the morning. And so my team and I are responsible for ensuring that all the cloud products are ready for all of our customers that are currently on premises. Uh, so today, this is a great opportunity for us. Um, we get to focus on the things that really make a difference. It isn't necessarily that we're building new features, but all the features that we provide in the product are pretty much for naught if they're not performant and if they're not available. So that's really what, what we spend most of our time on. Um, and I think for customers, this is also an important point. If you consider the move to cloud, today probably most of our customers are spending too much time on and effort and money and personal energy and managing their own hardware and hosting and doing performance tuning. And I remember talking to customers that were doing garbage collection settings, DB optimizations, VM tuning, upgrade management. And, and none of that work really provides any inherent value to the customers those businesses serve, i.e. that's not driving forward their competitive differentiation. So I think by, by using our reliable and performant cloud services, rather than spending that effort there, our customers are going to be able to concentrate on the things that make their work flow. Thank you for being with us. And Atlassian products are mission critical for many organizations. So speed, reliability, performance are very important. Can you tell us about some of the investments we're making on performance in our cloud products? Yeah, definitely. Uh, this past year has seen the biggest investment in performance and scale in the history of Atlassian. So we've got multiple teams and departments and organizations and the most talented engineers and product managers and analysts Designers are uh, all banding together in service of making our cloud products ready for the migration of all of our customers. Uh, I can't tell you what the exact number of R&D team members we have on this effort. I'll probably get in trouble with our lawyers for that, if they found out. Um, so I've been thinking about how do you express the scale in a couple of ways. So the investment we're making now is 10 times the investment we made in data center when we launched it. And the investment we're making now is the single biggest initiative in the company right now. Uh, so this initiative is directly in support of our number one company priority of enabling all of our on-prem customers to be able to confidently choose cloud. So this is a team that's well-funded and well-planned and excited by being on a, a mission that is critical and so important to the company and to our customers. And specifically, I know there's an emphasis on improving JIRA performance this year. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of the progress the team is making on that front? Yeah, definitely. Um, so as we all know, Jira has issues. Um, matter of fact, the issue experience is the most used experience in Jira. So the majority of users uh, use the issue experience multiple times a day. And it really is the lifeblood of your team's workflow and collaboration. So that's why the largest portion of our Jira performance issues is geared to improving issue performance. Um, at the same time, we've modernized the issue experience in cloud. And that's been a long journey. Um, some of the viewers might have seen me at a previous summit talking about what we call Bento as the development name, which is the new issue view. Um, that new issue view we've been rolling out over a period of time uh, is better than ever before, and it's now used by 90% of all Jira users. We've improved its performance, and as we've gone, we've added your most requested features like web links, permalinks, content permissions, and, and many more. Uh, and at the moment, we are working on improvements in the layout, bringing back tabs, as you in the old view, and giving you more control over where fields appear in your issues. Of course, we're making a big investment in performance at the same time, and that's yielding great results. We've already improved the new issues use load time by 1.8 seconds in the last three months, and that's a 23% improvement. Uh, those measurements are based on the 90th percentile, so that's like the worst case measure with only one out of 10 uh, issue loads being slower than that. We're also being strategic. We know that many users open an issue to view comments, so we're also rolling out things like a change that will see comments appear in an issue four seconds faster. 
And then finally, for customers that just value flat out speed over experience, they can still choose to disable Bento for their users and use the classic issue until we improve Bento to be better than classic. But issues are just one part of the story. We can improve boards by 20% in the last quarter and the search experience is 28% faster than three months ago. And we're working on dashboards and many more parts of the experience of Jira. That's a lot, a lot of great investments we're making. Anything else you'd care to share with us in terms of investments we're making in cloud performance? Yeah, uh, it, it is a lot. And like I said, it's a really big effort. Uh, and there's two streams of investment. The first uh, was to improve the performance for every Jira user. Um, and a lot of that is what we just talked about. So it's to ensure that users that come from an on-premise deployment are satisfied with their cloud experience. Uh, and that's exactly the, the part we just covered. The second is ensuring that we maintain that performance as a Jira instance scales. And you can think of scale of an instance in essentially two elements. One is the data shape and complexity. That's the amount of issues, projects, and the configuration of your Jira, such as number of workflows, custom fields, issue screen, scheme, schemes, screen schemes, mission schemes, all of the, the things that make Jira so powerful and allow our users to do their work the way they want to configure it that way. Uh, and all of that becomes challenging at times. And the second is the concurrent user load. That's how many users are making requests to the Jira instance at the same time. So we support both of these by invest investing in first, sophisticated regression analysis of our production customers to determine what features, and when I say features here, it's what aspects of that data shape and size correlate with performance degradation. We do synthetic testing to determine what are the bottlenecks and ceilings of our products and their architecture. And then we also do bespoke pre-migration testing for our very largest migrators. And that allows us to discover the bottlenecks and ceilings that are probably somewhat unique to them. Because of that configurability, customers can do their work the way they want. And that means that there's lots of different ways to do work. And that means we want to be able to test some of those largest customers it's to discover things that we wouldn't find in a synthetic test suite you can't build a test to, to cover every single case. Well, you could, but it would be terribly expensive to do and probably not that good a return on investment. Um, so from all of that, we get a really thorough understanding and we identify everything from low hanging fruit opportunities as well as architectural ceilings that we have to take care of. And we've formed teams and initiatives to iteratively pick the low hanging fruit and teams that re-architect to remove our ceilings. So to date, this approach has been really successful and you've seen us raised the tier limits from 2,000 users to 5,000 users, and more recently to 10,000 users. And we've now got our eyes on 20,000 users, all within a very short space of time. Can you tell us about the financially backed uptime SLAs for our cloud products? Availability is obviously really important to our customers. Uh, there are four uh, plans that we offer um, across Jira Software, Service Desk, and Confluence. Uh, and they are free at the entry level, standard, premium, and enterprise. And the top two are really meant for those customers that want a guarantee and a financially backed guarantee for availability. So for cloud premium, that's 99.9%. .9 and for cloud enterprise, that's 99.95%. Uh, so it's a financially backed SLA with service level credits. Great. And what feedback are you hearing from customers about cloud performance? I love getting feedback from our customers. It, it shows that we're a meaningful part of their world. And our last thing we tend to obsess about negative feedback because we're so driven to improve the experience. And I think that's good because it keeps us humble and focused on delivering that better experience. And internally, I often use that direct feedback from our customers to tell stories to our teams. And that underscores the importance of our performance work for customers. So that empathy and connection is vital to us. And our company value of don't F the customer, it's not just a plaque on a wall, it's important to every team member. And we also receive positive performance feedback, even from our very largest customers. Uh, and recently we, we migrated one of our largest customers and I literally just got this this morning, so I'm gonna have to read them because I, I can't remember them yet, but, um, but just feedback like the first piece of advice, do it, stop talking about it, it's worth it. Expect the delight will be performance. And we do not have to worry about the service. In other words, we can sleep at night. So that, you know, we get those and it, literally I've got, you know, um, goosebumps from me hearing that and shows that we're making progress and having the impact we want on the lives of our customers and that's really important to us. Um, and feedback is, is great but we can also look at our metrics and we can objectively and conclusively show 
what the performance is that's happening now in production. Uh, so it's really great to see that you know, echoed by our customers and, and that they're confident about that. And what would you say to customers who consider performance a blocker to moving to cloud? Yeah, uh, I mean, we're seeing many customers, including some of our largest, moving to cloud and having better performance experiences than they could deliver on-prem on uh, and without all the overhead and management for them. Uh, and that's not the end. We're, we're deeply committed to further improving performance and scalability. Uh, and a proof point of that are the tier sizes that I mentioned before, and that's going from 2K to 5K to 10K, and we're heading for 20K. Uh, so, so we're really just getting started on, on you know, increasing the level of scale that we can provide great performance at. Um, there's information and tools that are available for you to understand cloud performance. Uh, and for our largest customers, we can work very closely with you. Uh, and our partners are there to help work with you as well to not only understand your prospective performance, but the, you know, which factors of your instance and usage and user environments are most impactful for your prospective performance at cloud. Uh, so I guess finally, if you're one of our, uh, the few super scale customers that falls beyond our current tier offering, then speak to your TAM or your EA or uh, about our upcoming EAP programs. So if you're at a scale that we're not yet at, we're also looking to partner with people um, so that we can uh, understand their needs and see how their instance might perform in cloud. We work very closely with them doing that. Thank you. And this is our Passport to Cloud migrations video series. So I'm gonna close with one last question and that is what advice or guidance would you give to customers who are considering migrating to our cloud products? Yeah, I think quite often we talk about the business benefits. I really like the personal benefits uh, and, and think about those a lot. Because being an Atlassian admin is a demanding gig. You know, you're on call a lot of the time. Your, your teams have got very high expectations. You're there to make their workflow. Uh, so as admins of our products, you've got many challenges and many users to keep happy. So managing an on-prem instance doesn't directly help you to enable your users. So we can better provide that service for you and remove that burden and take that from you. Uh, I'm yet to meet an admin that, that likes bringing their team in to manage an upgrade on a weekend. I don't think I'm going to find one. And cloud creates the opportunity for you to shave off the mundane parts of your job and allows you to focus on unleashing the potential of every one of your teams. So you're going to see us continue to double down on all our cloud investments and see us deliver functionality in cloud only that drives the impact of all your teams. So the way to take advantage of that is to, to make the move to cloud. Great. Well, thank you so much. This has been awesome. My pleasure.